guys, it's Nerd Mom here, taking a quick look at the LG G2 cell phone. I recently received this from Verizon to review it, and it's a great phone. It is very comparable to me to the Samsung S4 without a few of the bells and whistles. Um, it has the, the large screen, of course, in this, this day and age of ginormous screens that I tend to like so very much. Um, it has a beautiful display. Uh, the people at LG say that it helps um, eliminate some of the AMOLED blue and has a display more on par with the Xbox 360. Uh, myself, there are some quirky little things with it that seemed weird at first but quickly grew on me. And one of them is this, uh, the power and the volume is all in the back here. And at first I thought it was kind of nuts, but I adapted to it so quickly. If you really think about it, you know, this is very similar to how we hold our phone every day. So it's, it's been really nice. It has not done any crashing. You know, it holds many, many uh, apps and will run them all at the same time. And one of the things that this specifically does have is you can do tiling across the view. You can actually run many apps literally at the same time. So it's kind of nice when you're going back and forth trying to, you know, get information from one app and put it into another app and not having to remember it and reopen it. It's got a great battery life. I've been really surprised at how great the battery life has been. It's, you know, nice and thin, and it has just a great hand feel. Uh, I do have to say this is the first phone in a very long time that I dropped and I dinged up. Oh, which corner? What, this little corner here did not crack the screen or anything. And when I say dropped it, I mean it fell out of my pocket onto an asphalt parking lot. And so I was sure that the screen was going to be cracked, and it wasn't. And uh, then I quickly ordered a nice, cheap little guard for it and a uh, screen protector the next day. But on the whole, I really like the LG G2. If you're already in the LG universe, it works with their TVs. Otherwise, you can buy a dongle to um, do that and to control your TVs from it, which I'm noticing is becoming a trend in cell phones. And it's, it's a nice little phone. Um, it doesn't have the panache of the Samsung S4 being that ultra high line, supposedly more in line with the iPhone. But as far as capabilities, I didn't see a real difference. So that's my two cents. How about you? Have you tried the LG G2? What do you look for most in a, in a phone? If you could do me a favor and leave me your top two things you look for in a phone. Other than making phone calls, I, I know some of you will leave that comment. And have a great day. Once again, quick look at the LG G2. Thank you, Verizon. Bye.